so we're here at uh, Yurong Creek, so in southern New South Wales. Uh, we're farming about uh, 2,000 hectares, contracting farming another 700 hectares on top of that where we do the full farming operations. Uh, the main crops, uh, we're about 50% cereal. For us that's wheat, is our only cereal. And the other 50% is sort of roughly made up of an, even amounts of uh, canola, roughly 25%. And the other 25% will be uh, pulses, but uh, narrow leaf lupins, favour beans, or in some years we grow field peas. Well, we started with the uh, narrow window burning to control a few ryegrass escapes that had escaped the, um, the selective herbicides in crop. Suggestion from Greg Connor, our agronomist consultant at the time from Grassroots Agronomy. And so we tried it, and yeah, and it really worked well. We got a good hot burn the following uh, March and really did a great job at reducing those ryegrass weeds that sort of uh, survived the, the in-crop herbicides. Rather than let them continue to set seed and create a bigger problem next year, we just want to reduce those numbers and it worked well and that's why we started doing it again in more recent years, just with the ryegrass numbers were building up and a good way to control them. We then moved to last harvest and it was our first harvest where we moved to the, the chaff decks where we placed the chaff onto the, onto the tram lines so we're not needing to burn anymore. After using the chaff decks and placing the chaff onto permanent bear tracks, in this case these are bear and they're all permanent here, um, and the weeds just came up in obvious lines. And we can target those with just one nozzle um, and using a, a selective herbicide in crop. So in favour beans, we used uh, clethodim on just the weeds that are in lines, like we can target that and it's about 8% of the paddock if we use one nozzle over each um, tram line which has got chaff on it. So just targeting the weeds in lines and it's sort of site specific sort of um, use of chemicals and it's great, you can get your timing right and uh, knock out those large numbers, even though there's still large numbers here now that were sprayed when we did a blanket spray on the paddock. I was able to come in early back in uh, middle of June before the frosts and just took out the early germination of weeds on the weed lines um, with the first clethodim spray and we ran into all those frosts and we were a bit late trying to avoid the frost when we came back with the blanket spray which was a clethodim and a factor in one pass, um, yeah, broad spray right across the whole, whole lot at the top. But you will notice there's a heap of ryegrass here and there's, you know, that's the next generation after the early ones were taken out, but the numbers concentrated here compared to the numbers that, you know, there's ryegrass out here in the crop, but we certainly concentrated so much of it here. And if there are some survivors, which hopefully there's not going to be with time we crop top it with gramoxone, if there are any survivors, we pick them up, they go through the machine, they end up back on this hostile environment. We don't spread them back out to a friendly environment to um, grow and you know, produce the most weed seeds. It's pretty hostile here and guys that have been doing it for you know, upwards of five years are saying that just that rotting and decaying and mulching of the weeds and the chaff on the rows in time is going to sort of take care of itself to a degree. But we just want to reduce numbers a lot quicker just given the blowout in the wheat here last year. We've got ryegrass here, it's in a good spot, but why not kill them and reduce the seed set even on the tram lines?